Hi all and welcome to the Getting Started with Unity tutorial series on the new and very exciting Unity cookie site. My name is Gabriel Williams and I'll be stepping you through your first experiences with Unity. We'll be taking it from a square zero approach the whole way, just uh, uh, not assuming any previous knowledge of Unity, coding, or even 3D in general, just step by step through the basics and getting everyone up to the same level of uh, knowledge and skills before we move on to the more advanced Unity tutorials. So this tutorial will focus on simply downloading, installing, and setting up Unity for the first time. So we'll start just by opening up your browser here. Browser of choice. In my case, I use Unity uh, Google Chrome, I mean. Good stuff to have. So we can just go to unity3d.com. And you'll click on the download link in the top right. Now the actual uh, version number you have here might change, don't worry, of course, if you're viewing this at a later date, uh, it'll always just be the main download button right here they have. It should also automatically figure out if, you are, uh, if you're on a Mac or a Windows PC, no problem. And uh, depending on if you have Firefox, Internet Explorer, or, or Chrome like I do, you'll get uh, some sort of alert probably saying do you want to keep or save or whatnot this file. Uh, go ahead and click keep, of course and Unity will begin downloading. And I'm going to pause this and jump ahead to the point where I have it finished downloading so you're not waiting 28 minutes or so for uh, this to go here. Okay, so once you have that finished downloading, go ahead and open your downloads folder or wherever you might save the downloads on your computer. And once you have that downloads folder open, we have uh, Unity set up right here and ready for us. Now something that might catch a lot of people, I know it did for me, is if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you'll need to right click and choose Run as Administrator. And when that little prompt comes up, uh, if you have the UAC turned on, make sure you click Yes. I don't think it'll show up in this recording. There we go, clicking Yes. And the uh, Unity setup will load for us. Here we go. Uh, the rest of this is uh, pretty basic. We'll go ahead and click Next, of course. Agree. Um, click Next. Make sure all of these are still selected. And the destination folder, it's best to just leave that as it is. Makes things in the future work uh, a little more smoothly. So just go ahead and click Install. And if you happen to have an old uh, Unity installation, as I do here, uh, it'll go ahead and remove any uh, older version of Unity for you. So one less step to worry about. And once it's finished with that, it'll move on to actually installing the new version of Unity. There we go. And again, since this will probably take around 5 to 10 minutes, at least on my older laptop, I'll go ahead and pause the recording and keep going once this is finished. Okay, and there we go. Unity is finished installing. So the first time we finish, we'll have an option to run it. In this case, I'm not going to just yet. And go ahead and click Finish. We can close out of these extra windows. And there you have your Unity uh, launcher right on your desktop, ready to go. So go ahead and double click on that. Okay, and the first time you launch Unity ever, it will ask you just to register it. Simple goes by pretty quickly. So click register there. And we're going to choose internet activation and click next. And Unity will connect up to its servers and toss this website up for us. And all you need to do is click in the email and type in your email. Let's pretend it's me at me.com and a company if you have one, uh, no biggie. And then you can turn on or off this little checkbox whether or not you want them to send you information and updates. I definitely recommend having that on. There's a lot of good stuff that you'll learn from that. And of course choose your license. So in my case it only shows free, but for most people it should show free or pro if you haven't already installed Unity and used it for the 30 day trial. So go ahead and click pro if the option is available, otherwise free is just fine. And there we go, simple and done. We can close that site, and Unity agrees, says we're good to go. Click Finish here, and Unity is starting up for the first time. All right, here we have the Unity Project Wizard, which will start when you uh, launch Unity for the first time here, and it gives you the option to select any recently opened projects. Of course, we have none. Open other if you might have another project somewhere else on your hard drive, or create a new project. We'll click on that tab. And in here there's the project location, which is where you're going to store all the files for this first project. And we can just click Browse to set that. And just uh, choose a folder where you'd like to put it. I'll drop mine right on the desktop. 
maybe call the folder test. Make sure you select that folder and then click select folder down here. And there we go, the location is set. These options here are just uh, some Unity prefabs that you can bring in if you'd like. I wouldn't uh, use them just yet, we'll go into them probably in some future tutorials. Just helpful little bits that Unity has put together so you can really check out uh, how they do uh, their work there. So we'll leave those alone, make sure we have our location set correctly, and go ahead and click Create. And hopefully your machine is a little faster than mine here. And there we are, Unity is started up, good to go. The first time you start it again, you will also get this video tutorials option, Unity Basics, Unity Answers, Form, Asset Store. These are all great links. Uh, there's a couple of tutorials that Unity has themselves. Uh, basics are, again, just a nice little online manual. The Unity Answers and Unity Form are really what uh, hopefully you'll be using the most of. Unity Answers is a, is a way to get quick answers to any questions you have. It's really a, a great thing. Lots of good members on there. And the Unity Forms is much the same. And then it also gives you uh, just a lot more options. You can uh, you know even look for contract jobs, etc. on the forum. It's a great place to go looking for any kind of help or support, either of these. And then the Asset Store is a neat uh, thing to Unity. You can just go online and search for uh, 3D models or scripts or materials, and they're all optimized and ready for to go with Unity. Uh, great to have. So you can turn off this if you don't want to see it every time you open Unity. Turn off Show at Startup. I will in my case. And then X out of this. And we are ready to go with Unity. So at this point, uh, I guess this is the end of this tutorial here. And we'll move on to some more advanced ones in the future. So hope to see you guys there.